Hey guys, it's another quick video about the batteries I've got on charge here. I've basically taken, uh, that's from a different pack, but that just shows you. I've taken two of the cells off, so I'm charging four cells. Uh, it's not the best way to do it really. The very best way to do it is to take them all apart and charge one at a time and see what's going on, but that's my kettle. It's not better is exploding so you can see it's been they started off at uh, approximately seven so you can see there's a fair bit of juice going in I've set it at 2.6 amps to charge <clears throat> that's quite high the good thing about these chargers is that you can set the amperage on them so if you've got a long time to play about you could charge them at one amp or Whatever, probably the lower the better really, but you can see it's been on for 38 minutes and it's put in 16, 70 units. Uh, although that's reporting 8.3 there, you can see the real battery and the reason we always need a multimeter is that's more representative of the true state of the batteries. You can see I just stuffed the multimeter connector down there and have it with the charge connector cable, the same on the negative side. <clears throat> you only need to spend four quid on the multimeter. Uh, you need to buy a power supply like that. That's the one I've got. And then obviously you need the IMAX charger or a similar one. These work pretty well. I've got balance leads on there, but that's for a different project. Ultimately with these cells, what I'm doing is repairing this bad boy, which you can see is pretty big. Uh, it's 15, 14 rows of eight, so. Sweet, we'll get onto that in a bit, but firstly, I'm just finding out, I need eight of these. I need eight single batteries, like that. The Sanyu 8 and 650 is the purple top ones, folks. That's what you want. That's where the juice is, my friends. See that? Don't ever drip any solder down there through those holes. It's uh, not the simplest thing to do, really, but we'll get on to soldering in another video. Keep watching, I'll keep them short. And yeah, there, there'll be quite a few about charging, really, because obviously it's very important. Uh, if you can't charge your battery, then uh, there's no point, is there? So something going wrong with the multimeter reading. Don't know why. There we go. So yeah, so the charge is saying 8.34, that's what it's putting in, but the real charge is 7.9. Uh, again, it's been on for 40 minutes, so I'll probably take another video in uh, another half hour or something, see how it's getting on. It's still, sorry to keep going on about this, but it's still putting in the full amperage. So there's plenty of work to be done yeah. Once that starts going down, the, where it says 2.68, that'll once the battery gets above well to 8.4, after a short while this will start dropping down and the charge units will go in slower. So I'll make another video in about half an hour and we'll see how we're getting on with that. Free lithium ion well it's not free is it but you know you can make your own epic batteries for so little cost if you've got the knowledge so peace out